Hello guys, let's create this nice robotic effect. So I'm gonna start here. In the layers panel, you would find there's four layers. There's a woman picture, a simple gradient rectangle, a robotic eye picture, and a gears picture. So all those three pictures are gonna be in a link in the description below, you can download it anytime. So let's start with the woman picture. As you can see, I selected the woman with a pen tool. I right click on it and make selection and press OK. And now it's selected, but the hair looks like it's outside. So I need to fix the hair and mask it. So go to select, select and mask, and now put the smart radius on and put the radius about 43 and go down and on output settings, put decontaminate colors and make sure you output to new layer with layer mask. So press OK and now you have the hair and it's masked. So now we can go to the layers and delete the woman with the background on. And now let's continue. So make a new layer on top of woman copy and name it cuts. Okay. And now we can draw the cuts which the gears are gonna show underneath. So let's go to the brush and put it on black and put it on 10 size. And now you can get the pen tool and zoom in and let's draw some cuts. Okay, that's the first cut. Right click on it, stroke path and put the brush settings we just put. Okay, and delete it. And then get the circle tool and draw a circle like this here. Maybe rotate it a little bit, place it somewhere nice. And now we can go to layers and on the ellipse one, we can duplicate it, control J. And with a duplicate, press control T to scale and transform and make it a little bit smaller holding shift and place it upward like this. And now we can hold control and press on the box of ellipse one copy and we can get the selection. Go to select inverse and now go to ellipse one and get the eraser and rasterize the shape. And now we can erase this part and remove ellipse one copy. And now you have this nice shape with ellipse one. And now continue drawing the lines. So press on the pen tool and draw another line here. Right click, stroke path and brush. And now we can do some nice details. And right click, fill path, put it black, 100 opacity and delete and draw one here. Right click, fill path, OK. And then get the brush and you can just put it on seven size and draw some points here. Okay, after you're done, merge ellipse one with cuts, right click on it and merge down. And now everything is one layer. And now let's do some cleanup. Get the eraser tool and zoom in and just clean these edges from cut layer. Okay, this looks fine. Okay, now hold control and press on the box of cuts. You will get the selection and remove the fill completely to zero. And after that, you can go to the mask of woman copy and get the brush and put it on black and increase the size. And now just paint out this part. Okay, so after you've done that, go to layers. And with woman copy, you have to add an adjustment layers. So add adjustment layers and add vibrance so in vibrance you would have 
vibrance and saturation. So let's put the vibrance on minus 70. And with the saturation, you put it on minus 60. Okay, now go to layers and right click on vibrance one and create clipping mask. So now it affects only woman copy and the person looks much paler and more robotic. So now let's continue. Go to layers and place I1 on top of everything so we can edit it and get the magic wand, press on the black and just delete it and then press Control T to scale and transform and make it smaller and place it somewhere nice within the eye I think this looks fine so now you can just duplicate it and place one here and select both of them and put the opacity very low and now get the eraser tool and select the first one and zoom in and just erase this part here and you can put the opacity back and you would have this okay and the second one as well select the layer and just delete this part put the opacity back and you're done okay you would have this now place the gears underneath woman copy and let's now control T and move it around to place it in a nice position so this looks fine so go to layers and duplicate this one Control J and place the other one to get this effect on the chin this looks fine and now duplicate the second one and move it to get a nice effect here so you can see the gear looks nice here so now press on gears copy 2 and get the lasso tool and just select this part here and press on select inverse and cut and now on the second layer select this one here and select inverse and cut and the last one do the same thing select inverse and cut so now we reached a stage where if you go to the original document you can just remove the effects from cut and you would have the same stage we reached last time so let's continue from here so you can just right click on cuts and before let's add the effects just temporarily and go to blending options and let's delete them from here and we are in the same stage so let's add one by one so i added first bevel and emboss and you can see now it looks 3d so when you go to bevel and emboss you can see i added outer bevel and I put it on smooth and the depth I put it on 1000 so it can be a bit deep as you can see the difference and now the size I put it on 2 because if you add more you will see it becomes bad and the rest I put it on 141 angle depending on the light you can put whatever you want and the rest so now you can put inner shadow inner shadow adds some shadow inside put it on multiply the opacity on 77 and the distance 9 choke 16 and size 9 and add some inner glow on the other side there will be some glow so a robot glows sometime it will be nice put it on overlay opacity 100 and the color white softer edge and size 16 and range 50 and add last a drop shadow it adds just a small shadow which you can see a difference from here it's me it makes it more real and you can put it on 100 size 5 if you want to add more add more but it would look weird so i think 5 looks the best and the rest and we're done